My agents hit me up. They said, hey, it's a Soderbergh project, and he wants you to be involved in it. And I was ahead. I was over the moon. I said, yes, I will. I want to do it. I don't care. I don't even know what it is. I don't care if I got to put on a duck suit. I don't care what it is as long as I'm working with Steven Soderbergh. And when we did talk on the phone, we were conversing about uh, about him seeing something in me that he could push to the world. Like he says, I see that you have a dramatic side, and I want to show that to the world. And I got a chance to do that, and I've I've wanted to do that. So to break to break the mold with him is just amazing. So I said yes, let's do it. So that's my story on the movie. Stephen has been a, a, a long, a long time filmmaking hero of mine since Sex Lies and Videotape, um, and and just the the breadth of his career and the different kind of movies. I feel like he's one of those guys who's um, who's conquered so many uh, genres with such a, with, you know, with such expertise and aplomb mm -hmm. that it was really exciting to get a call um, about kind of the new Steven Soderbergh experiment. Um, you know, a, a, a new genre for him, a new way of shooting for him. Um, I was so thrilled and honored to ask to be a part of that. You know, it's it's an interesting conversation that uh, that I've had an opportunity to have around this film because when we made Blair Witch, um, part of the conceit of that film was this film's going to look really bad, and here's why: because there are these student filmmakers, and this was the high eight camcorder that they could afford, um, and and so it really had to be a conceit. It had to be worked into the concept of the film. Why why it aesthetically looked the way it did. Now in the intervening twenty years, um, the technology has come so far that we are we're discussing the fact that this that Unsane was made on an iPhone. But really, when you sit in the theater and watch it, I don't think it's going to call that much attention to itself. Mm -hmm. I was thinking kind of like kind of get out ish, just a little bit. Not not get out, but kind of to the point that it has like like there's different aspects in the movie, and it's um and it's definitely um it's definitely thrilling. You're like oh my god, it makes you jump like it's a, it makes you jump out of your seat. And I like I liked it. when I saw the screen. I was there were points when I was generally like man, that's that was oh boy, how are we gonna get out of here and go this way? Like the conversation with. Can't talk about it that much. Go ahead, Josh. Mm. Can't we can't uh, give too much away. It's just uh we gotta There's keep the, it there's here. a lot of things we're not allowed to talk about. Yeah. Which you know. Um I think it's impossible to make a a, a, a movie that takes place in, in an asylum without thinking about uh, one flew over the cuckoo's nest, at least for me. Mm -hmm. um, Definitely. Because they kind of they they broke the mold after that one. I think I think we all looked at that. For me personally, for my character, I looked at um, I, I looked at a lot of movies with obsessive characters. I looked at uh, Misery and Play Misty for Me and uh, uh, King of Comedy and just just these really fascinating antagonists that have ex existed on screen who who were obsessed with their respective antag uh, protagonists. I would kind of say American Psycho too. Like, well, oh, that's a good one. Yeah. I didn't have Christian Bale's abs. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> nor, will, nor will I ever, by the way. I really like my co-stars in this movie off screen. And so, you know, part of the job was, um, was, 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 was making people deeply uncomfortable and kind yeah. of being the... Um, you know the nucleus of, of of the claustrophobia that surrounded everybody. So it's not um, it's not a fun skin to sit in um, while you're making the movie. But it you know it's the job that we signed up for, and and I couldn't have been more thrilled with the people who I was actually making it with, and 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 think that the fact that I actually did get to a place where 
I was making myself uncomfortable is just a testament to my collaborators that, that it was an environment where, where we could kind of, you know, go there. I hope people go see this movie because it's it's scary as hell and and a really fun ride, yeah. And um, I, we we've been telling ghost stories since the beginning of time, and I think part of what's great about going to a movie theater to experience a scary movie is 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 the community is is sharing that experience with with the people around you. Um, I think you know there's. There's some fun and there's some catharsis, and mm -hmm. some people wind up getting lucky afterwards if they uh, if they take a date, um, because they get to be a comforting uh, 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 a comforting factor. I know every time my my wife comforts me when I'm scared in a movie, she gets lucky afterwards.